What up, what up? Winboy's here. And today I'm excited to show you guys I actually found an Android virtual camera. So a couple of days ago, I actually showed you guys how to use the new virtual camera with the iOS device. A lot of people have been asking me, where's the Android version? And funny enough, when I was watching YouTube, a commercial for an Android version of the virtual camera actually showed up. So I clicked on it, checked it out, and it actually comes with a free demo. And so I figured it could be cool for us to just check out together. I haven't really set this up yet, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this is the plugin here. It's called Virtual Plugin. This is on the Marketplace, so I'll leave a link down below in the comments in the description. You can see that it's pretty pricey at 80 bucks, but if you keep scrolling down, you can see that we can try out a demo. And so I downloaded the demo, and then I looked at the documentation. It shows you where you have to download the app, which if you just go to the Play Store and just look up Virtual App, and then it should be the top one up there. You'll just see the little logo here and everything. And then you just download it, which I have it on here now. And so the cool thing, it looks like I can actually just click Auto IP and then connect it. And so I have the demo downloaded and i'm just going to double click on this to start the demo so it is an exe file and it's giving you these requirements it looks like so make sure you have a lot of good lighting um important okay so it tells you how to find your ip if you don't use the auto ip which i'm just going to use auto ip here then it has some requirements here as well which i should be pretty good to go so I'm going to click on the start button here. Then when I click auto IP, it says your IP is connected. Now you can start slowly moving around with the phone. So I need to click connect here on the phone. And now I have a one to one with my screen and on my phone, which looks a lot like the iOS device. But I'm noticing as I'm moving around here, it might take a second for it to pick up maybe. So yeah, if I click on the settings here, it looks like the settings are all working. So I can lock the axis, have the film back settings, phone tracking, and then the controller. Let's see what some of these other settings are. So I'm not sure what M and H stand for. Automatic and manual, I'm guessing. Yeah, so that's probably for your camera. So you could change the f-stop and everything on here. Let's see what else we have. Okay, so we have our camera settings here on the right-hand side in which everything looks like it's working pretty much one-to-one -one when I click at least these settings and stuff like that. So I'm going to click this up here, click this up. Let me, yeah, so when I'm moving my camera around, it's not really doing anything right now. Let me click on the joystick button maybe. So as I'm moving my camera around, it is actually working, but it's not giving me one to one. And it looks like once it recognized where my phone was, when I moved back, it jumped the camera back really far. So I'm going to move back to where I was before. Yes, yeah, so I'm not having much luck here. Like I said, I am using an Android Galaxy 8. So that's an older phone. Let me restart the app maybe. See if I have better luck restarting the app. And this time, instead of virtual camera, let me click on joystick. See if I have better luck with that. Okay, now it's saying I'm in joystick mode. But nothing is showing up on my screen here. It says scanning for surfaces. So let me move back. Okay, so when I did joystick mode, it looks like it's actually tracking one to one. And it's moving a lot better this time. So when I did virtual camera, it was giving me a lot of issues, but it looks like I'm getting pretty good one-to-one -one whenever I select the joystick mode, which is really promising. The only thing, the only caveat is right here, if you see on my phone, it's actually just a gray screen. I'm not seeing what's on my computer this time. So that's a big difference when working inside of um, 
Yeah, and that seems to be a big difference when working inside of the different modes there. And then I noticed too, if it doesn't see the ground, it's not really gonna track as well. So let me move back again. So yeah, the demo seems to work pretty decent. The one caveat I'm seeing is you can't really be all up on your desk. Like you really need to have some space in your room. And it has, like he keeps telling me that it's looking for the surface. And so it looks like it has to see a ground plane. You have to have a decent amount of space for it to work and everything. But this is um, pretty promising there. So I would definitely check out the demo for yourself to see if it works for you. And um, I can't speak on how the actual plugin works because I didn't purchase it for $80. But if anybody out there did purchase it, please let me know if it's worth the price or not. So yeah, I just wanted to experiment with that since I did see the ad pop up when I was watching YouTube. I know a lot of people have been asking me, where's the Android equivalent of it? And so this is what I found. Like I said, I didn't purchase it. I'm just using a demo for this example here. So I can't really speak on how easy it is to set up or even like all the steps it takes to set it up. So I would definitely go to the YouTube channel. I'll link that down below and you can watch some of the videos and then make your decision for yourself. So if this video did help you out, make sure you subscribe if you're new. Leave me a big thumbs up. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.